Hi, I'm Luke Sierveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Give a warm welcome to the head. They, them are very helpful when you're setting up on your own, just so you can see what the light is doing. Uh, we're outside just to shake things up a little and uh, we're, we're in the shade. So there are some highlights back there, but basically uh, the uh, open sky light here is the same as it is against that building. But now we've brought up uh, a five foot Okta with an 800 Joker in it. And it's got a half grid in front, no inner baffle. And what I wanted to do today, it's just a simple thing. And that is uh, try out a new adapter because I have an adapter with the same ring, but now it has a Bowens on the back. So while we're at it, we can compare the 800 Joker in the five foot Okta to the 600D in the five foot Okta. And this just as a single. Later on, we might get to some more fun, but uh, let's start here. I've got a, a 1.2 ND on the camera. We're at 500 ISO and we're at like a, just cracked open a four to a five, six. And here we have just over a four uh, to camera. And that's the same. Yep. Here's just a little more down over there, but basically we've got a four uh, to camera. So. Now we spin this on and let's see what we got. Here's a bit of a hot spot, sure. You know, it's only half grid, so. Uh, but now we're looking here, we've got a five, six, so we brought it up a stop. So maybe a little less than a stop, but about a stop. You know, this is a pretty minimal amount. If we wanted to get some more output, we'd want an M18, that kind of thing. So maybe we'll try that out later. Here we've got the 800 Joker, coming full bore uh, through the half grid. And we're, you know, about five feet from, from the front. So let's now try the 600D and see how that uh, compares. So the actual diameter is just a wee bit smaller on the new ring. And I'll put that into the same offset. So to camera, just a little over a 5.6. And to the unit, we're just under a 5. So it's only like 2 tenths more, you know, depending on how you do it. But yeah, there's like 3 tenths more. And yeah, so it's uh, just a, a little bit more but feels uh, spottier. So I would want to put an inner baffle in. Not a big deal, but it's nice for me to know that I can use, you know, interchangeable heads in the same modifier. Now let's try something different. So this is an M18 going through that same half grid, but it's uh, over a little bit and a little bit further back. And so let's see what we've got. Five, six and a third. So not that much different, but uh, now we definitely have enough here, you know, to give us some, some good output. And to the grid, it's about uh, just six feet. It's a little bit further from the, the front uh, than we were before. If you look at it, yeah, it looks a little lit. Uh, and I've changed the background just a tad. We are also getting the source in the windows there. So we could either open the windows or we could put up a, uh, a cider on that. Uh, we probably want to, again, give a little neg here for some interest, but it is kind of a nice sheen coming off of the sunlight that is still on the patio. Now let's try two 600 Ds and see how that compares. Yeah, we're just under 700 foot candles. Okay, well that's actually less. That's 640 foot candles. That was what, 660 or so, 670. And this is 640 foot candles. The grid is further away. 
but the units are where the M18 was. So now if we brought everything a little bit closer, um, then we would have similar output. Now this is, this is also in a box rather than through the grid that was closer. So, you know, there's a little different quality to it, you know, sort of a different wrap, but you do have more of a circular um, feel. And so, um, you know, just a little different quality of light, but uh, similar <laughs> uh, diffusion. So now the diffusion is similar to where the six by was. And we've got 700. So very similar. And the nice thing about this is when you're looking at it and it's feeling a little lit, you can come down and pet a tad. So let's say we come down to 90 on each. 640. That's kind of where we were. Maybe bring one all the way up and one at 90. That's 670, that's exactly where we were with the M18. So now the other part of this is if you have an M18 with uh, a power gems ballast, then you can probably run it on a 2200 watt uh, generator. I can't with mine, I have a regular airy ballast, so I have to run it on a 3500 generator. The beauty of two 600s, you can run it off a 2000 watt Jenny. So you got a little quieter, less power draw, and you have pretty much the same output, give or take. But, uh, and then when the sun goes down and you need to open up, you just dim and you're there rather than putting in scrims. So yeah, just uh, an alternative to what you're used to, but I thought it'd be interesting to see how they compare. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. I wanted to show you a little more detail of these guys. Uh, so they're basically the same, but a little bit different in size. So if you marry them up, you can see the difference. This is for the Joker. This is for the Bowens, um, but it works just fine with the Shimera five foot Octa. And then uh, you can buy this extra piece. It comes with the little bolts and um, that allows you to put this into a gobo head so you don't have all that strain on the uh, 600D. And when it has a large modifier out front, it's uh, nice to just, you know, put it on the gobo head and then uh, the head just uh, uh, flies free here. Anyway, um, that is that. Here's the rabbit ears, just another close up view. Uh, this is the adapter that goes into the rabbit ears so that you can put two Bowens fixtures on here. Uh, you can see that I still have the sliders that go to the Nova. Uh, you can just slide them out of the way. I have them marked, and so that's where they would go back if I use that instead, and I would take this off. But now I have this on, so I can put two Bowens units here. It slides on really easily. And then your light would go in there, obviously. You Take this off first, and then listen for that click. So I'm going to take this off now, though. Oh, well, here. And then let me show you this. So then the second component for this is this unit, and this goes you would put this onto the junior pin and then you have to tighten it down. And you think like, oh, how come, you know, that doesn't work? Well, it's, it's got a little ratcheting action. So you have to push it in, then you can move it and it doesn't uh, twist. So then it pops out, turn in, push in, 
bring it to where you want it, it pops out, and that's how you tighten it. So it pops out, and you can tighten it. So it just it takes a minute. I didn't figure it out right away. Someone had to show me. And now it's tightened and it's flush. So you do that with two units in there and away you go. So just wanted to show you uh, that in detail.